Hey guys, and welcome back to my reading corner. So for today's video, I'm very, very excited. I'm talking about one of my favorite authors as of to date. One of my top, at least minimum top two probably the top is Alicia Ray and today's book that I'm going to be reviewing is Girl Gone Viral. So this is her latest release um, and I did pre-order this book and when it came I was so so excited. I think it took two days for me to start reading this book and I finished it that day. So I, I, I was hooked okay. Me and Alicia we're like here. We're like here. I've read almost all of her books. As to date I have one book that I need to read, I believe. I don't think I have any other books that I have not read that she has published. Me and Alicia, man, it's thick as, thick as water. Thick as grease, thick as wine. What's the saying? We thick, okay, we, 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 we here. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about this book um, and if you're interested, just keep watching. So, I do wanna put some um, perspective when it comes to this book. This is the second book in her, I believe this is the Modern Love series. Let me look it up really quickly. I don't want to be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Yep, this is her second book in her Modern Love series. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be more. There's definitely room for there to be more books in this series. And now that I'm on her page, I want to check. Yeah, so it looks like there are a couple of books on her Goodreads that I have not read. But based on Barnes and Nobles, there's only one book that I have bought um, that I have not read. So almost finished all of my Alicia Ray collection. And I will be talking about this book towards the end, but we're going to talk about it a little bit right now. I wanted to say that it is the second book in this series because her series are all connected. And this series is actually connected to another one of her series, which is the Forbidden Hearts series. So in that trilogy, there are three books, um, and they all center around a group of friends and more or less family members that get romantically t either together or with a different partner. It's a little complicated, um, but basically, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to say too much, but those three series are more in the adult x-rated um romance so those i would say are leaning more towards erotica those are not her most erotic books by any means none at all but they they are spicier than these two books so if you don't like too much spice i would say you would still be able to read those three books but maybe not other books in alicia ray's written collection if you will. That being said these are her modern contemporary books that she has started to write um, and these are even milder than the Forbidden Heart series. So if you can only deal with like contemporary romance you don't like too much smut you should be able to read these without any problem. Like I said these two books are connected so if you did read The, White Sw the Right Swipe Gone Girl is actually following Rihanna, Renea's, Ree's best friend, that's this one and her name is Kat, Katarina. So I just wanted to give you that perspective. If you are someone like me who likes to know how the books connect and likes to see all the subtle connections, you will want to read the three books from the Forbidden Heart series because characters are connected. Like Ree is connected to the Forbidden Heart series and then she also brings other characters to this series specifically mainly in this book. So I'd say read those three books and then read these two. There are very few Alicia Ray books that I do not give five stars. So okay let's for real get into the review of this book now. So this book like I said, was the second book in this series, and I ended up giving this baby a four star. Wow, I don't give many, but I guess 
this one just didn't click that one box so I definitely love the packaging I love how it's very similar um, design and everything to the right swipe I am a packaging person sometimes not always but sometimes this book like I said follows Ree's best friend Katrina um, and Ree is from the first book from the right swipe Katrina is like a I want to say late 20s, early 30 year old woman who was widowed by her husband and her husband was in like his 60s or 70s when they married. You learn a lot more about their relationship in this book, which I am very, very much appreciative of because I did not understand the dynamic and you really get to understand the dynamic in this book. Um, but basically Katarina has had a lot of problems in her life um, that has left her very skittish, if you will. Um, she can't do much. In the right swipe, she did not leave her the house. She had this mansion and she refused to leave that mansion. And in this book, she's starting to slowly leave the mansion. She's starting to slowly go to different public places. And she told herself, if I can go to 10 public places without throwing up, crying, or having a panic attack, then I will start dating. So this book is all about her development in dating and falling in love. Um, it's called Girl Gone Viral after apparently there was like a thing that happened. I guess I'm just not in the loop or the get down where I guess two people, two strangers got photographed and like people thought they were together but they weren't together or something. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know. But that's where Alicia Ray got this concept from. And yeah, so she, in one of the locations that she finds her zen in, if you will, she gets photographed with a stranger having a conversation and a third party tweets out the whole situation and really dramatizes it to the extreme and it literally throws Katrina's life into a downward spiral. Um, she starts to freak out. She doesn't want people looking for her, finding her and once again you will understand these reasonings when you read this book because you get a lot more of her background um, abuse both through her family and other things that went on um, and the only person that Katrina really trusts well she trusts her best friend Ree she also trusts their other roommate which I can't think of the third roommate right now but she trusts both her roommates and she also trusts her bodyguard and her bodyguard's name is Jazz so those three are the people that she holds near and dear to her and they help keep her safe throughout this book and they also help her in her romantic journey um and this is this is such a cute cute book I love this book it really was cute I think for me what I was missing is the fact that th there, there was no I mean there was lusting there was definitely lusting between the two but there was no steaminess at all and I was just like but but Alicia you write such good scenes it just it's just a sad sad moment in this world where Alicia does not give me a steamy scene in a book so that's the reason right there. I loved her writing. I loved the book. I love where the series is going. I do hope and pray that Alicia is not leaving erotica, smut, the realm. I, I need her to come back. I need her to finish a couple of the series that she started and has not finished. I, that's what I need from her. But I don't mind this either. This is like candy. I don't mind candy every so often, but I need a meal. And my meal is your erotica. So yeah either way i highly recommend both of these books the series overall i pretty much will recommend all of arisha uh, arisha alicia ray's books i will be doing a video going back and forth in and out through all of her books that she has published that i have had access to um when i say access to if they're not at any of my public libraries or barnes and nobles I'm pretty much SOL at that point. Um, but either way, I highly recommend 
Alicia Ray. And if you have not given her a try, I say go for it. Like I said, I will be doing a book, like a how-to guide um, for her in case you have not um, heard anybody talk about her and you need help figuring out what books, what series, are best for you um, but I would highly recommend this book I think it's a really good book like I said it just it was a little too rated PG for me and that's why I gave it a four out of five star but other than that chef's kiss guys chef's kiss so I hope that you guys enjoyed this review I hope that it did some good things for you I hope that it helped you get through your journey in life whether it's easy or it's hard and I will see you guys in my next video